hello friends welcome to my youtube channel technet guide friends in this video i am going to tell you how to install redware load balancer in vmware so friends before going to start we have to download redware virtual image for vmware so let's see how to download it and install on vmware so let's so let's start to download first now friends to download redware virtual image for vmware we have to go to redware portal okay redware support dot redware you can see okay now you can see a three line here go to click here and go to download we have to log in with your credential okay now we have to select elton application switch okay now go below and here we have to select platform on which platform you have to install you have to install on vmware select vmware version is 30 dot okay this version okay 30 dot 5 dot 15 click here to download now you can see software download click on vmware now you can see this is for upgrade image software upgrade now this is for virtual appliance okay so now we have to click this image you can see you can verify here 977 mb and md checksum file now click here to download now click on save so now you can see it's downloading here okay after download we can go to install now friends you can see my elton redware image downloaded successfully 977 mb okay now now we can install from here as you can see this is a ova file okay we can install directly now just double click on it okay now we have to select accept terminal condition now click on next now we have to give Elton OS name okay 3515 okay here you can select a path where you have to download install now click on import here it will automatic assign your memory hard disk size and interfaces and processor size okay you need to do just click on import here Now it's importing image and all setting. Now friends you can see this is memory size automatic given by this and hard disk size, CD ROM side size. Okay. Now click on power on. We have to power on here. Click on power on. Now we have to select first one redware elton generic now friends it's installing so now it will do setting here creating directory for elton verifying arcing verifying its extracting image disabling memory increaser elton application switch va now you can see elton rsak applying configuration link up management port is up now friends password will be admin default password okay we have to enter new password here applying configuration now we can see info okay system system info general info okay you can see it's serial number port management mac address okay now friends we have to bridge our management port with our local pc so that it will assign ip via dsp 
okay link up management post now management port ip is 1.30 okay 192 168 1.30 now check you are able to now let's check able to access by gui or not now login to https 192 168.1.30 so friends you can see i am able to log in on gui access on gui admin password will be now friends you can see we have success now friends you can see we have successfully installed redware on vmware okay now let's check able to access on gui cli 192 168 1.30 yes let's log in here admin password three. now you can see we have successfully logged in now check here info general system management for so you can see this is my management port here if i ever if i want to change my management ip from here i can change my management ip cfg cfg then system you can see management port mm okay management port i can change my address here mask gateway okay i can change address address will be 192 168 1.26 i can change here okay okay it's a dhcp so i can disable dhcp on management port cfg mmg cfg system mmg so dscp i have to disable dscp here now i have to dscp disable okay dscp disabled here now apply now we can configure from here now cfg system management port okay now provide ip address addr ip address 192.168.1.26 okay subnet mask mili mask 255.255.255.0 gateway 192.168.1.1 okay now click apply comparison applied here now we have to check now able to access with ip 192.168.1.26 yes accept password so friends you can see now we are able to we have successfully configured management ip okay now let's check on gy able to access on gy or not change the ip address which i have given a static ip 26 admin so friends you have seen we have successfully installed redware on vmware so so friends in this video we have seen how to install and configure redware in vmware 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो हैव अ नाइस डे